there. It's Diane Erickson. I'm in my design studio and I am excited about a spring shirt. And if your closet is calling for a great spring shirt in your collection, maybe this is the direction you want to go. I have created this um, collection of off-white bits um, into a really cool variation on the O'Keeffe which some of you have been making as a coat or a coat dress or a cropped um, jacket version. And I just think it makes a sweet spring shirt. So look at what happened um, when I put together this collection of bits. And I wanna to talk to you a little more about proportion and detail and all of that. But let me show you where this started. So it, you know, it started with those cropped pattern pieces for the front and I'm using a combination of vintage linens, new shirting, and a piece of uh, shirting that um, Miles Frody did some drawing on with, with a couple different sizes of pens. And I like just that small amount of drawing on there. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out as I get further along in the project. So when you're working on top of a pattern piece like this, you can see it'd be really easy to just keep piecing until you have something big enough for the pattern piece. That's exactly what I did. And you can see as I come to the side here, I've just got that last piece that's gonna stitch and flip towards the side. I've surged those seams from the inside so I don't need a lining. And as you notice, um, I've left the bottom edge irregular and mostly raw edges on the bottom. I really wanted that combination of finished crisp shirt with the raw edges and seeing if I could make that conversation feel um, just right. So there's the two fronts. There's the two fronts as they were finished and ready um, to put into construction with the rest of the pieces. Now, when I'm constructing, one of the things that I like to do, and maybe this is something you wanna think about, or maybe it's something you already do, um, think about working on the pieces that speak to you when they speak to you. So I got these fronts finished because this is what I pictured. I'm gonna set those aside, and the next thing I'm gonna look at is the companion pieces. So I decided to take on the sleeves and as you can see, I've used that printed fabric on the inside of the cuff, and I've come in with this very cool, round, small elastic as an accent, and also a black sewing thread, a single layer of black sewing thread. That's really gonna be the beginning of my detail um, combination. I'm not going to add anything else. Those things are going to be enough and I'm going to work them. So remember, once you find a detail that you really love, I want you to be repeating that. So I also think about, notice how in the photo I've got the cuff folded back. I think about that. Think about when you put that shirt on, what are you going to do? How are you going to pop the collar? Are you going to fold the sleeve back? What is going to show because of the way you wear your clothes. And I think that's a really important design detail to consider because it lets you play with placement of things. Um, so in addition to doing the sleeves and setting those to the side, I also decided to do a little inset in the back of the neck um, with one of the little printed pieces of fabric. So now when this shirt is being worn, the eye is pulled of the viewer is pulled up to the back of the neck and that sweet little stitched detail across the back of the collar. Those things are things that allow you to direct the eye of the viewer. I love that piece. Um, we all think people shouldn't be looking at our bigger parts. And if you don't want someone to be looking further down on your body, give them something to look at at the top, give them something interesting. And I think that's what details like this do. So here's what the front looks like. And as you can see, I've got the collar on. Notice you might wanna make the collar a little shorter. Honestly, now that I look at it and I've had this on, um, I'm probably gonna cut that collar down because it is fairly tall and I like to wear it as a stand collar as opposed to folding it down. So you always wanna check that out. So as I make a collar, I'm gonna stand it up on myself and on the dress form just to check it out and see what that's going to, to do on the, on the body. But you can see here how 
those very cool um, elastic, very small elastic loops have been threaded through the seam line um, and woven down, just kind of woven down the front. And I've just let them stick out a little bit. I played with how big I wanted them to be, whether I wanted them to be an actual loop, but I love that they're flat on that seam, just looking like a big stitching line. Because now my little tie, which are just pieces of that same black elastic, will go through that loop and tie to hold the garment uh, closed. You can see on the inside of the shirt, what I did was just a facing down the front because I wanted that shirt front to stay fairly um, thin and a little bit see-through so you could see the detail and flesh color underneath would let the, um, the stitching and the detail on the surface design of the different fabrics really show through without um, covering that up. So I just wanted a very small facing on the front. You can see my seam edges are surged and that was um, that was my way of, you know, finishing, but leaving it still a little bit raw edge feeling. Um, let's talk a minute about proportion. Wow, you can see how dramatic the difference is between the front and the back of this shirt. That could be several different shapes. The back edge could, you know, that back um, pattern piece, you could take it longer, you could take it shorter, it can be curved. I elected to make it um, a longer piece. And it, when you're playing with this proportion, look at it on you. What is your body type? What is calling you? What is going to be the best look on you? You may want to make that front cropped, but a little more asymmetrical to distract and keep the eye on the moving of the garment instead of maybe a little rounder tummy underneath. I elected to go with a longer back. And you can see on the side, I've finished part of the front, then it goes to a raw edge. But on the back, I've come back and um, made a uh, really little bit of detail out of that black sewing thread um, with a hem stitch on the machine. So on the outside of the shirt, you get that little kind of dot of that black thread again at, across the bottom of the back. A little bit of weight at the bottom of this is nice because the shirting is fairly um, lightweight. And I want it to hang nicely. So think about how much hem you need or what's going to happen down there. Maybe some piecing will give it a little bit more weight if that's what you need. But I love the way this looked at that bottom of the hem. And you can see on the dress form again, there's quite a bit of difference between that back piece dropping to the side at an angle and the front piece, which is cropped and short. I'm gonna wear this over my soft drapey Capitola pants that are um, kind of a texture or black and white pinstripe. I think it's gonna be really, really cute. So here again, here's the front and notice the how those ties, um, you know, and I mentioned in the beginning, my ties, the, the black elastic and the sewing thread are two different weights of a black line just like what you see in the drawing on, on the fabric that I've used. And I loved the repeat of that. I loved what happened when I saw the relationship between how the black elastic just kind of sticks out and moves in different directions, just like the quality of those line marks on the, on the printed fabric. So I love that it ties in. I love the way that it just fastens um, in a very, very simple way. And I know this is going to be one of my favorite spring shirts. So when you look at that weird little basket of scraps in your, in your stash there, what spring idea is going to come to pass just because you jump into the magic of what's in that basket and start hooking pieces together? Um, I love the shirt. I know I'm going to enjoy wearing the shirt more. And it's... Uh, yeah, it's a very playful, um, kind of unexpected um, silhouette, and um, it's got a nice drama to it and a nice combination for me of the raw edge, the line quality, and those little bits of detail. So if this is a direction you're going to go, oh, I just wish I was there with you. Have at it. Have a great time. And um, if you make it out of the O'Keefe, I'd love to see what you make. And just enjoy 
piecing that that summer spring garment and this is a great time to start maybe we'll bring the warmer weather on a little bit sooner so thanks for stopping by happy making